What's up everyone, Safe 10 here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about is undercoating worth it? Let's get right into this. As a vehicle owner, you always want to make sure that your vehicle is protected for all sorts of wear and tear. Today we're going to be talking about whether or not it's worth getting, how much it typically costs, and the benefits of getting it done. First off, let's talk about cost, which is one thing that most people want to hear first. The price of undercoating depends on the size of your vehicle, where you live, and how much you want to get done, and the type of undercoating that you select. On average though, it can cost between $100 to $400. Now depending on the type that you select, most of the time it is recommended to get it done every 12 to 18 months. If you do choose the complete package, then you only need to get the complete package done every two years, but in between, you do still need to get the basic package done. The complete package will undercoat everything for your vehicle, but the basic is simply that, just the basics. So if you get the complete package, most of the stuff that is included in the complete package do last typically around three years for a lot of those components, whereas the basic stuff only lasts 12 to 18 months. So it's recommended if you do get the complete package done, next year, all you will need to do is the basic package, the year after, all you need is the basic package, and then the year after that, go back to the complete package. So the complete package only needs to be done every three years, but the basics still needs to be done every year. Now that might seem like a hefty price tag, but whenever you consider the long-term Turn benefits, it's definitely worth getting your vehicle undercoated. Now let's talk about those benefits. The main purpose is to protect your car's underbody from rust and corrosion. If you live in an area with harsh winters or you frequently drive salty roads, undercoating is essential for you. It creates a barrier that prevents moisture and salts from penetrating the underbody, which can cost. It creates a barrier that prevents moisture and salt from penetrating the underbody, which can lead to costly repairs down the line. But that's not all. Undercoating can also improve your vehicle's overall insulation, making it more soundproof and reduce the road noise inside your vehicle. It can even increase the resale value of your vehicle as potential buyers will see that you take extra measures to maintain your vehicle's condition. Whenever you're paying these prices, you want to make sure that it's going to stay where it's sprayed. Undercoating that's not non-drip will possibly drip and it could also damage your driveway or anywhere that you do park. So keep that in mind. It is essential that you get non-drip. Most companies nowadays do advertise whether or not their undercoating is non-drip because most people prefer non-drip. Again, that basically means that it will stay on where it's sprayed and it will last longer. That means if it stays on, it's going to protect your vehicle longer in the long run. So to answer the question, is automotive undercoating worth it? Yes. The cost to some might seem steep, but in the long run, it can save you money on repairs and increase the lifespan of your vehicle, which if you are driving a vehicle, whether or not it's newer or not, or you did purchase a really good used vehicle and you want to drive it for a really long time, getting it undercoated will definitely help you make that happen. So don't hesitate to invest in undercoating your vehicle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.